Hey there. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up multiple PDFs on a single form and then use the PDF conditional logic feature so that the user will only receive one of those particular PDFs depending on the information they enter in their form. For this demonstration, I'm going to use an e-commerce form. It has a couple of products, uh, contact info, shipping details, uh, credit card um, field to capture the, the payment and uh, some uh, marketing sign up um, and an inbound hidden field. And for the PDF, in this example, we're going to use one of our premium invoices called Iconic, um, which looks like this. Um, business info at the top, uh, summary of the, the invoice info, the product table in the middle, and then um, the payment details down here if they had elected direct deposit um, as the payment option. Um, we also offer, in this particular form, they offer um, Stripe uh, so they can enter their credit card details or, or PayPal. Um, so you can use the conditional logic feature to um, generate a different invoice um, depending on the payment method. Uh, for this particular example, I'm going to do it based off the country, um, the billing country, uh, and show off the, the basic tax feature um, that comes with this invoice. So we'll head to the PDF settings and we'll head down to the template tab first up. This template has what we call basic tax. Um, and that is, it calculates what the tax is um, based on the products prices entered into the form, um, including the tax. So tax inclusive or um, in the in the product pricing, um, it's quite limited um, just because there's no native support for tax um, in Gravity Forms. Uh, I'm going to enable this. Um, and in Australia, goods and services tax is 10%. Um, I might include a watermark um, because this currently isn't paid yet. Unpaid. Update. And if we refresh, you can see a watermark here. And now um, we include tax. Uh, on the subtotal, but we need to do it on shipping as well. Uh, enable tax on shipping fee. Okay. Update now. Okay, so now the tax is based off that $45 total. 10% um, and you can see it's included the individual tax on a, on a line item basis as well. And you can turn off that column um, in the invoice. So in Australia, um, we need to charge 10% goods and services taxes um, on sales, uh, most sales. Um, but if you're selling to uh, somebody not in Australia, overseas, um, we don't need that tax. So we're going to use conditional logic um, and set up a second PDF. Uh, to disable the tax feature. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is back to the P original PDF settings. We're going to enable conditional logic. And we'll enable this if the billing country is set to Australia. And we'll hit update. Uh, the one entry we have in the system now is currently uh, an Australian address, so that invoice is going to be enabled. Um, we'll put a test submission through in a minute with um, a non-Australian address 
So we can either add new and reset up all our invoice settings and just turn off the tax. Um, but to make this easier on ourselves, we're going to use the duplicate button. We'll make sure to activate that. Um, it's, it's inactive by default to allow you to, to set up um, the PDF the way you want, and then you can activate it um, once you've got all the settings set up correctly. Um, but because it's just test site, we'll activate it straight away and we'll edit it. Just use the same name. Um, we're just going to change this conditional logic <coughs> so that uh, it is disabled if the billing country is Australia. So the first one will be enabled if it's Australia and this one will be disabled if it's Australia. And that ensures that the user will only receive um, the email, the user notification email with one of the PDFs. And we'll scroll down to the tax section and we're just going to turn it off. Um, because the, the rudimentary tax system works by tax um, entering the product uh, price tax inclusive, um, we can just turn that off and uh, it will display the correct um, title, uh, which will always be that $45 um, in this particular case. Uh, so it just it'll remove that GST column here and it'll remove uh, these two here as well. Um, and the unit price will be ten dollars uh, and fifteen dollars respectively. So let's go. So let's go put in a test entry. Just get a preview here. Uh, another amazing product. We'll put two and one. Yeah, just put in dummy data. Billing address. Now the important part, country, change that to United States, right down the bottom. And standard shipping. $45 that matches the original. Uh, that looks like I haven't added the direct deposit payment method yet. Uh, sorry. Just, I haven't actually set up that payment method properly. Um, so we'll, we'll do credit card. Um, we'll use a test card number. Try that permission again. It's only set up with the with the um, the Stripe payment option at the moment. Um, PayPal and direct deposit aren't currently set up. So I had to to go through that process there. Uh, so now, if I view this new entry, we've got United States for the billing, shipping, um, and the same products. And shipping that we had on the first one, totaling $45. But when we view this particular PDF, it won't have the GST included. Um, and it'll show the $45 total here. Um, and you can actually use multiple conditions um, in the in the PDF logic. So if we go back and I go and add a direct deposit payment option. And hit update. And we can go into our PDF settings. And we'll edit this first one. And we want to enable it if the billing country is Australia and the payment method is direct deposit. Um, and that way, the invoice will make sense um, because it includes this direct deposit information at the bottom, 
for those customers who want to pay um, for our bank transfer directly. Um, and we can set up a, a third um, invoice marked as paid for those who want to pay instantly via credit card um, using one of the payment gateways, Stripe or PayPal. Uh, so we'll update that and we'll go back to second PDF and we'll update this one. And the method is uh, now we gotta we gotta do a little bit more work here um, because we want to disable it um, if uh, we're doing it in the reverse we we instead of enabling on this particular um, conditional logic, like the first one, we're disabling it based on these options. Um, so we want to disable it if the billing country is Australia. So we want to use this particular PDF um, for any other country. And we want to use this particular PDF if the um, payment method is not um, direct deposit. Uh, sorry, we wouldn't use it if it is direct deposit. Um, so because it's disabled, we're going to reverse everything. Um, so we're going to say if not direct deposit, which will, which will mean that um, when they select direct deposit for the payment method and uh, the billing country, it's not Australia, uh, that this will be enabled. A little bit of, um, when using the disable option, it's a, it's a little bit of cognitive overhead to, to um, fully understand it, uh, you know, wrap your head around it. Um, so just, just keep that in mind when, when doing disabled. Um, we can't really use the enabled because we want to enable this for, um, we can actually, sorry. We, Let's let's switch this around. We'll use enabled and we'll say we'll enable this if the country is not Australia. Um, but the payment method is direct deposit. That's much easier to, to understand. So if you're using conditional logic, um, it's always easier to understand the enabled option um, far better than the disabled option. Because when it's disabled, you've got to reverse everything um, based on when you want it disabled. Um, so we will switch that over. Much easier to understand now. Go to entries. Now these both don't have PDFs showing because they both have the payment gateway set to Stripe. So we'll go in and we'll just edit this. Um, we can't edit existing product fields, but as this is a radio field and not a product field, um, we can do it. So this particular one now is set to direct deposit for the payment method and it's in Australia. So this one will display GST. There's our GST amount and our total. Uh, and if we go back to the second option and we set the payment method to direct deposit. Uh, this is our non-Australian one so when we update this one will not include the tax. There we go, no tax here. Um, I'll just set up one final one. Again we'll duplicate the second one. And this one will be for Stripe payments. Um, and what we will do is, is credit card, um, billing country is not Australia. Okay, so this is the non-tax one. Uh, we're going to mark it as paid, 
down at the watermark. And we'll edit this description. Thank you for doing business. Yes. Let's hit update PDF now. And if we go and tweak this entry again, we'll change it over to credit card and hit view. This one will now be marked as paid. So we could duplicate it a, a, another time um, and for the, the GST version um, and have that show as paid with the, with the tax here. Um, so that's how you can set up multiple PDFs on a particular form and use conditional logic to ensure that only one of those um, PDFs is going to be attached to the notification email. Um, and I haven't actually shown you the notification email. Uh, here is one from that second test. And we'll go and have a look at which invoice that was. Okay, just drag that up so you can see it. So this was our, our second entry um, based on that. That was before we set up the, um, the conditional logic related to direct deposit or credit card payment. Um, so it had the unmade, unpaid watermark, no tax, um, and the direct deposit details. If I, let's go and submit one more. Finish this off, we'll submit one more. This will be a credit card one. And we'll just we'll use some big numbers. Let's $400. Uh, billing address is not required field, so I won't bother selecting it. Overnight shipping, please. Go buy a credit card. Sign me up to the newsletter. Um, so this email we now receive will be, uh, I didn't put an address in, so it's going to be the non-taxed um, invoice. It'll be marked as paid. It should say thank you for doing business with us. Okay, marked as paid. Overnight shipping, uh, unit price total four twenty dollars. Thank you for doing business. Um, and that's that's how you use um, those more advanced features of Gravity PDF to uh, conditionally deliver different PDF documents based on user input.